In a church like ours, with over 200 years of history, the tendency could be to revel in the glory of our storied past. But we have a forward focus, centered on the missions and ministries we are carrying out today and the bold and bright future set before us. Let us hear now from folks that have been deeply blessed by our ministries here at Second Baptist. Um, the ministries that mean the most would be probably The Well, which is the service that I go to um, because of the community that I've built with them um, and the style of music and just the um, kind of the laid back atmosphere of The Well. I enjoy The Well um, because I know that I am going to, um, I'm going to encounter the Lord. I'm going to feel His presence um, through the music and through um, the preaching. I enjoy the fact that um, on normal circumstances we have a variety of pastors that um, that preach, and so I enjoy the kind of yeah the variety that comes with that. Um, and I enjoy the people. I love the people that are in the well, um, and just yeah the relaxed feeling of come as you are and leave differently, right? Like you come um, in one way, but you leave changed and better. And it gets, um, it starts my week off um, in a great way so that I feel renewed and refreshed and, um, and ready for the week. What ministries in Second Baptist mean the most to me and why? Probably the K through five program because all the teachers were so like family. Um, if someone didn't have something and like, if you forgot your Bible, they would give you a Bible. Or they would just like, I like, I drove by someone's house the other day and gave them some muffins and they were so thankful. We've been here long enough that our children were born here, they grew up here, they were, they and my wife and I were active in the preschool and the children's ministries and of course the youth also. But I am a, a musician by trade, I play the piano. And when we were visiting this church, I would hear the musicians that were here. Of course, we have piano and organ, and I play the piano. And I remember the first Sunday we came, the man who played the piano back then, who was Fred Mallory, was just so wonderful. And I thought, I could never play here. That guy's just amazing. And, uh, and he was amazing. He's in heaven now. And I was lucky enough to get to play some. And since that day, which has been decades now, to play for the service, to play for different events. Sometimes I get to lead, sometimes I get to play, sometimes I get to sing, but we've got a really active music ministry of all styles, and that's what I am, and that's what I do. So it's been great to find a place where you can use that part of yourself. What I like about Wednesday night dinners is that I can eat dinner and I can see all my friends, my grandparents more than once a week like I would if we didn't do Wednesday night dinners. And then I can go and sing and then I can do handbells before dinner. The thing that I like about my teachers is that they are kind, patient with me and other people and that um, that they can help me learn about the gospel in ways that I could not by myself. The ministries that mean most to me at Second Baptist would probably be um, the student ministry uh, because that's where I spend the majority of my time. That's where I spent the majority of my time here at Second Baptist. Some of the things we do at student ministry would be um, just fellowship, getting to um, get to know one another, um, learn about God, have some fun, play games, um, summer su summer mission trips and camps like uh, that we get to go on are always great. So the ministries that mean the most to me are probably the youth ministry since that's where I am the most and then the music ministry because I can always see how hard they're working and they give us songs every week and they really liven up the uh, service, whether it's the mor early morning or the afternoon service. What I like about the music ministry is the fact that we have a traditional music and we have more alternative music, more modern. And usually I go to the traditional, but if we ever uh, feel like just going up to a place that's more livelier, we go to the early service, which has the uh, more modern music. And yeah, you get both choices here, so that's pretty cool. I would say that my experience here um, 
was, it has been one of just um, encouragement that when I am in a place of loneliness or in a place of not feeling like um, my best self, that I come and, and the people here love me. We heard a few weeks ago a letter written in um, 1920 addressed to the church of 2020 and I'm wondering what it was going to be like and would the church still be here. I really want us to know that we will be able to share with this congregation in a hundred years. It's God's will. If, if we don't serve His purpose anymore, we won't be here, but I would like to think that we would.